is Chloe. She's a senior in high school and plans to start the college application process soon. Her mom, Joy, who happens to be a B-list celebrity, got an idea from her Aunt Candy to get Chloe a private college counselor. Side note, most of the ideas that Joy gets during the course of this story come from her best friend, Aunt Candy, who is insanely rich and raising a spoiled son. But back to our story. Chloe decides to get Chloe a private college counselor. She takes her SATs, hangs out with her best friend Chola, falls in love with her other best friend Levi, and parties the whole night through. But her mom is still being pushy with the college application business. Chloe has her first meeting with her new private counselor, Dr. Wilson. He wants Chloe to pretend to have ADHD so she gets extra time on the SAT. Her parents seem to be okay with this idea, but it's a bit sketchy for Chloe, so it takes her a while to give in. When it's time for her to take the test with her extra time, she takes it in a room with a man named Dave. He shares snacks with her and calms her anxieties before the test. She hangs out with her little buddy Caesar, goes on dates with Levi, talks with her mom about teenage drama, eats the food that her private chef Christopher prepares, and texts with Shola. She soon finds out that she got a 1440 on the SAT. She's a bit confused because she thought she bombed it, but she's so excited that she doesn't question it. She talks to her school counselor, Mrs. O, about her score, and Mrs. O assures Chloe that she worked hard and deserves the score. Chloe hangs out with Levi and the two talk about their essays. Spring break comes along and Chloe's mom says that Dr. Wilson needs Chloe's picture for her college application. They use a photo that they took the summer before, but she's confused because Mrs. O never mentioned anything about needing a picture for a college application. A few days later, Chloe's sister Isla comes into Chloe's room and starts asking about her college applications. Isla calls out how sketchy everything is that Dr. Wilson wants Chloe to include, but Chloe doesn't want to talk about it because she had submitted her application. It was done and over with. Chloe finds out that Levi got into Harvard, his dream school, but because Shola didn't submit for early decision, she doesn't know if she got in yet. A few days later, Chloe finds out that she got into SCC, the school where her families wanted her to go. Despite her high grades, Shola got waitlisted, so friends and family were suspicious of the misaligned situation. A few days later, Chloe finds a picture of herself in the office with her face edited onto a pole vaulter's photo. She finds this a little suspicious because she's never pole vaulted, but she can't dwell on this for long because she's interrupted by Levi asking her to prom. Chloe's very excited, and she says yes, of course. Chloe wakes up and hears someone knocking on the door. Her mom comes down and is promptly arrested. Chloe's appalled until she gets an alert on her phone about Joy Fields, her own mother, getting arrested for being involved in the nationwide college admissions scandal. She's being accused of altering Chloe's SAT score and bribing SEC to admit Chloe. Dr. Wilson and the SAT proctor Dave are also in trouble with their contributions to the case. Chloe and Isla talk about the situation and its grave effects on their family, and Isla informs Chloe that she needs a lawyer, sending her a list of good ones. Chloe then makes the mistake of going on her phone. She receives death threats from people at SEC. Shul is not answering her, and Levi responds for a while, but then blocks her. Chloe decides to reach out to a lawyer named Mr. Lowe. He tells her not to talk to her family about the scandal, specifically her mom, because that can get her in deeper water. She meets with him in person for a family meeting so that he can regulate what is said to Chloe to keep her safe. Chloe's mom sulks about getting fired from her shows and isn't listening to the people telling her to plead guilty. Soon, Chloe's addict brother, Hudson, forces his way back into her life. He poses for the paparazzi on the front lawn until Joy's PR manager, Paloma, pulls him into the house. Chloe's dad, Mr. Fields, is mad at Hudson for his little performance, and Joy's just her usual self around him. Hudson talks to his sisters about the gravity of the situation, then leaves. A few days after the news comes out, Chloe gets added to an encrypted group chat with other kids affected by the scandal. They use code names and talk about how the scandal ruined their lives. Joy begins taking Xanax to escape from reality. Mr. Fields is constantly in his office. Either becomes antsy staying at home and plans on going back to school, and Chloe's just trying to get Levi and Shola to talk to her. Their family is in shambles. There are more meetings between the family and their lawyers, and Joy still refuses to plead guilty. Everyone tells her that if she does not plead guilty, her prison time will increase, but she refuses to listen. 42 days after the scandal, Mrs. O calls Chloe to talk to her about her high school completion and to check on her. They talk and decide to send Miss Schoolwork to Chloe so she can get her diploma. Levi officially texts Chloe to break up with her and say they aren't going to prom together anymore, and SEC officially rejects Chloe. A former convict turned prison consultant named Michael comes and talks to Joy to convince her to plead the right way. During this, Isla has finally had enough and talks about how this will now affect her getting into college. Joy still isn't willing to plead guilty, but Paloma, Joy's press consultant, believes it's time for Chloe and Joy to finally leave the house. They go to a yoga class under strict guidelines, but amidst the yoga, the paparazzi inform Joy that she has been charged with additional crimes. Joy must go to a federal court in Boston, so Chloe and Isla are left home alone. During this time, Shola finally comes over and talks to Chloe. She basically says that what Chloe did unknowingly was wrong, and she should have noticed the warning signs, and that it's unfair to people like herself who actually have to work to succeed. Shola tells Chloe that she does not want to be friends anymore and leaves. Isla decides that she and Chloe should go hiking, but during the hike, they get a call saying that Hudson is overdosed. They rush to the hospital, but the staff will not let them see him. They're only allowed to check on their brother once their parents arrive. Thankfully, Hudson is alive, and he assures his family that he is okay. A few days later, Joy decides to go on 2020, a popular TV network, to talk about the whole scandal. She talks to the interviewer for a bit and gives a speech of her own. She talks about her feelings on the matter and announces that she is finally going to plead guilty. 14 months later, Hudson has moved back home after a whole year of sobriety. Levi and Shola are both successful in college. Joy is in jail for the unforeseeable future. Chloe and Isla are getting ready to go to college. Isla is going to Yale and Chloe is going to Santa Monica Community College. The end.